morning guys, I'm Siobhan, a first year medical resident. Just got to the hospital, picked out my clinic room for the day, and now this morning I'll be doing a hematology clinic. So these are the blood specialists. It can be things like your blood counts are too high, too low, if you've been clotting or bleeding. Um, so we'll see what comes. I have no idea what's heading my way this morning. So you can imagine in a hematology clinic, we're looking at a lot of blood work. And so often when patients come into their clinic appointment, we get them to draw some blood. And let me show you how it actually gets sent off to the lab. It's pretty cool. First you load the blood work into a tube like this. Then you choose a location. And then it travels through tubing in the hospital by compressed air to its location. Cool, eh? So just finished up um, in the clinic, saw about five patients. Um, it was an interesting range between patients in their 30s, some in their 90s. So I always, I always like that kind of variation. So just have to see four patients today on the ward, which is really not bad at all. Um, I kind of like that I can organize my time the way I want to when I'm seeing patients on the unit. If I want to spend more time talking to one, if I want to dig into their file, I have that flexibility compared to in clinic when you're on a timeline and I just really notice the difference. Anyway, so now I'm heading to the obstetric unit because we've got a patient in there. p.m. I'm no longer on the hematology service. I'm now internal medicine on call. So I just had handover and um, got my two pagers of the teams that I'm going to be uh, covering overnight. Um, and now there's actually a consult I already need to see in the emergency department. So I'm going to go down, see this patient, and then going to change into scrub. So hopefully nothing messy or anything happens before then. So now I'm bringing all my stuff, <laughs> trekking up to my call room, and then I'm finally gonna get changed uh, into scrubs. Oh man, I am so happy. I got my favorite call room. Get your own bathroom, window, bed, and computer. Best part of the whole thing. All right, now for the transformation. Hematology and on call. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was bad. I can't even blame this corniness on being exhausted. <laughs> so as you guys know, I used to go around with a side bag when I was on call and keep all my stuff in it. And I've started to switch it up. So now I take my, my patient list, this um, resident survival guide, and I just put them in the side pocket of my scrubs. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll be right there. Okay, I was just um, called about a patient whose oxygen levels are really low, so I'm going down to assess this patient um, right away and where they might need to be intubated. When I arrived, I immediately assessed the patient. I spoke to the nurses and found out what happened. We put him on a higher level of oxygen, and these colorful caps connect the oxygen tubes to the mask and control what percentage of oxygen is given to the patient. We also had the code blue crash cart nearby in case things got a lot worse. I ordered a bunch of blood work and a chest x-ray which showed pulmonary edema, basically fluid around the lungs. We treated him with some medications and kept a really close eye on him for about an hour. Okay, crisis averted. I actually ended up calling the respiratory therapist and got the senior medical resident to come up after I'd, you know, ordered chest x-ray, done some blood work, and in the end, he's actually recovered, so it's really nice to see someone in a matter of an hour go from not responding at all to st sitting up, talking. That's a, that's a really rewarding part of the job. Back in my call room. Get to take my shoes off. Get to sit in bed and have some food. Um, 
I remember getting um, a question asking if I sleep in scrubs or if you kind of change before bed. No, no, definitely that's the beauty of scrubs is basically you just get into bed and so then if you have to get up in a moment's notice, you're just ready to go. Um, I do take my shoes off. I've heard of people who sleep with their shoes on, but that kind of seems weird to me. It takes me two seconds to put shoes on, so it's not a big barrier. <laughs> So it's 11.20 now, I only just have been in, in bed for like 20-30 minutes um, and just got called down for another consult. So um, it sounds like there's a there's someone with a really, really high blood pressure that's affecting their kidneys. So I'm going to go check that out now. So as I'm walking uh, to see this patient, I'm thinking about what questions I want to ask them, what things I'm concerned about, what things I don't want to miss. So I'm sort of kind of making a game plan um, as I'm heading over there. So it's about 1.30 now, just finished um, up with that consult. Um, just admitted the patient and now I'm going to get to head back up to my call room. Um, I feel like phase one of getting tired overnight is this kind of like squinty feeling of your eyes and I'm definitely starting to get that right now so perfect time to go to sleep. Just uh, got uh, woken up to um, hear about a patient whose blood sugars are really high so luckily I was able to manage that over the phone um, and now I'm heading back to sleep. Just got Paige to clarify an order. Um, that's always so frustrating because I know I know that the nurses have to call to clarify, but you think, oh, I just fell asleep. Anyway, so I was able to clarify it, but um, I actually just need to get up and go to the computer to do that. So um, then I can head back to sleep. So it's 8 a.m. now, having a quick snack and um, heading to meet the team. Just got home. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Like I'm awake. I'm alert, I feel like I could take on the day, but if I don't sleep, I know I'm gonna crash super early, so I'm gonna go and take a nap, but then I can actually enjoy the day, so I'm looking forward to it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see the rest of my journey as a junior doctor, and check out Instagram because that's where I'm answering a lot of your questions now. So otherwise, I'll be chatting with you guys next week, so bye for now.